Hey, Jerry from Clean Water Store. You know, one question we get a lot is folks will come to us and say, I have a filter cartridge for my house. It works great, but I have to change it too often. Maybe it only lasts a couple months or maybe it lasts a month. We have a lot of customers say literally they'd have to change it once a week. Otherwise, it gets so plugged up with sediment that they are cuts off the pressure into their house. So here's a picture of a typical setup. Sometimes folks will have three and they'll have like a 50 micron first, then a five micron, then a one micron. The idea is you want the larger pleated style filter first, but there is a better way to do this where you don't have to change the filter cartridges. And that is to use a sediment backwash filter. So you see here's the typical setup. We'll use a Rusco spin down filter first, which you can flush so it doesn't have a filter cartridge and it usually has say a 60 mesh screen in it and that way it gets the bigger sediment and flakes or grit or sand if there is any and that and then but it doesn't get plugged up very fast because it's just getting the big stuff and then it goes into the sediment filter and these things are great what it has it has a type of filter media in it lasts for years we use a turbidex brand uh, it's a light um, filter media that's naturally mined and it removes fil sediments and filters down to the five, three to five micron range. Um, show you a little picture of it. Here's like a cutaway of one. You see, um, you've got the water coming in the top through the control valve, goes down through this filter media. The filter media is filled about two thirds full inside, and then it goes down into the filter gravel through this bottom distributor basket comes up the distributor tube and out into the house clean and then it's automatically set to backwash you can get these control valves in different kinds we have manual backwash ones that are don't require electricity this is an automatic one which is more popular and most folks usually set them to once a week but it could be set to every night if you had to if you use a lot of water and there's a lot of sediment in the water but mostly it's once a week what happens is that during the backwash, instead of the water flowing down here, it flows down through the center of the down through the distributor tube and back up and backwashes out to drain and flushes all that sediment out, usually into the septic tank where it doesn't hurt anything. Um, you could put it out in a ditch or trench or something, but most people put it down the septic tank. And then it, after the backwash, it's good to go. And it can do that hundreds of times over years and um, keeps your final filter cartridge clean so in this diagram so a lot of folks that say they have their own uh, big blue filter because that's usually how people start out they'll get a whole house filter so you can keep that filter it's a good idea and you can put it after the sediment backwash filter that way you can have a one micron put a one micron 25 to 1 is what we usually recommend dual grade one micron filter cartridge in there and that'll get the super fine stuff if there is any and clarify the water and so <clears throat> um, that is the good way to go so that's our that's our go-to recommendation the filter strainer we use Rusco spin downs are good then the sediment backwash filter then your optionally you could put in your big blue after the sediment filter any questions give us a call or email us support at cleanwaterstore.com